Good morning, Chop. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you very much. Um, curious, coming out of your first game as an Indian Lion, where your confidence level is at defensive end. I know you were you were transitioning to a full time focus there. Where are you now versus when you when you maybe got on the field back in August for the first time with this team? Uh, I would say I'm way more confident, way more comfortable. Um, when I first like started out there in August on camp, I was a little uncomfortable, but I knew as I take it day by day and learn little by little that it would help me and I would get better at the position. So I felt very confident and I love Joe Spencer. Hey, Chop. Uh, so playing a team like Purdue week one, that team is going to pass as much, if not more, than any team you face all season. How much is playing a team that uses its aerial attack so often do you think going to benefit yourself and Penn State's pass rushers in general uh, down the road? Uh, I would say it will benefit us because, you know, you never know when that play might happen, when you'll get to the quarterback. So it is like, in your mind, you're just telling yourself you just got to keep going because the closer, the more you keep going, the closer you're going to get there. So I think it benefits us a lot. John Sauber? Chuff, do you think it benefits you more to be in mostly on passing downs and, and sort of lets you, you know, sort of pin your ears back and get after the quarterback rather than being a, a full-time defensive end, or, or do you want to be in there sort of for every snap? I mean, of course, I want to be in there uh, every snap, but I also have things to work on in the run game with my feet and my hands and focusing on my key. But I think as time goes on, as I keep working on that, I'll be able to, you know, be able to fix that more, stop the run. Tyler Donahue? Chop, what's your relationship uh, been like with with a, a guy like Nick Tarburton and Adiza Isaac, who have been in that room for a while? Uh, you three got a lot of reps in game one. How do you work off each other, and where do you think you can take the room moving forward? Well, them guys, especially Nick Tarburton and Adisa, I look at everything they do when we do drills, when they're out there in team, getting reps before me, or I'm taking mental reps from them. And I just, like, I try to get – all the little small things that they do that I don't have in my game, and I think that helps me a lot. So it's just, we, we all learn from each other, and they're just helping us out in our game. Can you go? Hey, Chop. <clears throat> what, what's kind of the, the teaching point when you're going up against a, a quarterback like at Purdue who's getting the ball out so quickly and that so much of it is predicated on getting the ball out? What's the teaching point, and does that ever get frustrating at all to you return. as a pass rusher? Again, you are connected. Well, of course, it gets frustrating when you can't get to the quarterback. He's getting the ball out quick. But, you know, our teacher point was rush and always keep your hands up because, you know, he gets the ball out quick. The least you can do is bat the ball down. So that was our teacher point during that game. Trust me, sir. Chop, what have you seen from Ohio thus far, and what players on that offense stick out to you? Uh, they have a lot of players that stick out to me. I don't say the whole offense, to be honest. But that team is more like speed option, and they want like kind of like working offense, and they're a good offense. Sam Cohn? Hey, Chop, just curious. I know it's just one game in the season, but where do you feel like you have the biggest air room for growth in your game? Well, I would say the main thing is stopping the run and focusing on my key, and just I think I have to build my upper body up more to be able to stop the run with the big old line and the big ten, of course. So I'll say that's the main thing. Need power? Chop, how, how, much, um, how much did you already change your body in the weight room from last season to, to now? Was that a, a big transformation for you? Uh, I would say the main thing, my upper body definitely got bigger than when I first got here, and I definitely got faster. So it was like I got bigger and faster, and that was just a crazy change. And it helped my game a lot. John Sauber? Chop, how does Manny Diaz def uh, defense uh, help you out? And how is it different from defenses you've been in in the past? Well, Manny Diaz defense, you know, is more speed, 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 working vertical instead of side by side. So I think that's helpful for me because I'm a very speedy guy off the edge. And that can definitely help in the game. Alvaro Torres? Hi, Chubb. Are we having a great day? Well, uh, could you please walk us through your game-winning sack or how that felt? Okay, so that last play, I seen it was four seconds left on the clock, and I knew I was like, I was telling myself, 
okay, you got to make this play. You got to make this play. Of course, I was tired, you know, getting a lot of reps doing that game. But I kept telling myself, it's pushed through. This could be the last play, and you got to get it. So, you know, coming off the ball, I knew they were scared of my speed. So when I came off, I hesitated like I was going inside. And he fell for that move. And I just bent the corner on the edge, and I just seen the quarterback right there. It was it was a great play, a great feeling. Tyler Donahue? Stop, I'm curious when you really <coughs> felt like you were a full-on Nittany Lion uh, 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 and, and wondering if that's something that took place before preseason camp, during preseason camp, or, or really took you through the first game to get that under your belt. Uh, when did you feel like you were a full-on member of this team? Uh, honestly, I felt like I remember when I first committed here. Because I kept coming down here, being around the guys. Brotherhood treated me like family. I just felt like I was a part of it the moment I committed here. Need power? Chop, just one more about the the uh, some of the physical changes that you made. Was that was that just working with Chuck Losey? Uh, did it have to do with becoming a defensive end, with kind of making the the position switch? Like what what went into it? I guess. Honestly, it was Chuck Losey. You know his his training program is just insane, and it's the best I've ever seen. And the stuff he do to help build our body and keep us with getting faster and stuff like that, it's a crazy change. Time for two more. Sam Cohn. Chop, you mentioned being able to learn a little bit from Nick and from Adisa and the, the group of the three of you. I'm curious, how do you feel like you guys are similar? How do you feel like you guys are different on the field? Well, you know, uh, starting with Adisa, he has a crazy bend off the edge. He, he gets low, bend well. So I'm learning that from him, getting that from his game, trying to put that in mind. And then Nick Tarburton, he's just an aggressive player, and I just got to get that in my game. That will stop the line. So that's what I gained from them, too. Last question, Joe Smeltzer. So, Chop, obviously your main focus this week and any week is the job at hand and preparing for Ohio and getting better. But how much have you thought about running out of that Beaver Stadium tunnel for the first time over the past few days and, for that matter, since April when you transferred? I mean, I know, I know it's going to be a crazy jump. You know, 100K fans, everybody's screaming, the stadium jumping. So it is going to be a great feeling, actually, because I feel like the fans give you more of a, a juice when you're out there. Recording stopped. All right, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you, Chop, for your time this morning, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. Of course. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Thank you, Chop. You're welcome.